Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a mini haul video. I went shopping uh, about a week ago now and I got a whole bunch of new stuff and I really wanted to make a video because I don't usually do haul videos but when I do, when I do go shopping, I do kind of like to film mini haul videos. I don't have too many new things to show you, but I did spend a great amount of money, so I figured that would make up for the fact that I don't have that much stuff. So I went to the Tanger Outlet Mall where they have a Michael Kors store, and then I also went to the mall um, in my area and I went to Spencer's Gifts and I also got a few things from there so I figured I would make kind of like a little haul video so if you guys are interested in seeing all of the new stuff that I got just go ahead and keep on watching and if lipstick gets on my teeth I'm sorry it's just a thing that happens with me it just never fails I always end up with lipstick on my teeth in some way shape or form so yeah uh, the very first place I went was I went to Michael Kors in the Tanger Outlet Mall that is like my all-time favorite store in that outlet mall like no other store in that whole entire place it draws my attention more than Michael Kors. It's a very high-end kind of designer bag shop where they have like wallets, keychains, purses, um, sunglasses, watches, clothes. It's just, it's like, oh, it's just a magical place. So I've been there before and the very first weekend that the Tanger Outlet Mall was open, that is when I got my very first Michael Kors bag. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I did actually vlog my very first trip there. I will insert that vlog up in the corner if you guys want to see the bag that I got, which I also include the name of that bag. So yeah, um, I went to Tanger and I decided to go into Michael Kors because I was really, really been itching for a Michael Kors wallet to kind of go with my bags and I just wanted a wallet. That was like my only intention of going into that store and long story short, I basically walked out with way more than a wallet. So the very first thing I got is the wallet and I will go ahead and show you that really quick. I don't know the exact name of the wallet, but the wallet that I did end up going with was this one right here. It is just a black, plain black leather wallet, and then it has the MK right here. It just looks like that. So basically it has multiple compartments in it, and when it comes to wallets, I'm very, very picky. I like wallets that have a clear part where I can put my ID at, because I don't like my ID to be hidden. I like it you know, easily accessible and I like wallets that have like a clear spot for it. And I was using the same wallet for almost, how old am I? I've been using the same wallet for like two years now and it had Marilyn Monroe, tat or Audrey Hepburn tattooing Marilyn Monroe and it's like this really like badass wallet. I loved that wallet but I really wanted something just to kind of change it up and I decided to go with this one right here. So here's basically what it looks like right there and the very first compartment when you open it up is like a place for your money so I just have some cash in there. Um, with just some change. So that's the very first compartment. And then when you flip it over, there is another compartment in the back. And then this part has like three little compartments where you can put like receipt papers and things like that. And then it also has a zipper compartment here. So um, the wallet and everything in the store was 40% off. So this wallet was originally $139 and I actually got it for $83.40 with tax and everything included. So I, it's really, really expensive and I usually wouldn't spend this much on a frick wallet but when I saw it I was just absolutely in love with it I thought it looked really classy it was really simple and it'll go with almost every single purse that I own which I really like and then as I was walking through the store you know I was looking at all of the bags and then I look to my right and I see this bag just sitting there with like a spotlight on it and it just looked so beautiful it was sitting there it was like Brie Brie buy me and I, I could not freaking help it. I had to buy this bag. So the new bag that I got, yes, I did get another Michael Kors bag and it is this one right here. Oh, can we just take a minute to just appreciate this bag? Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with it. And there's a dog here on it. Come on, get off there. So here is what my new Michael Kors bag looks like. It is in the color Blossom, I think it's called, and this is actually his new spring color. So technically this is like a spring collection bag, and I just was obsessed with it. When you open it up, it basically just has all of the compartments and all of my stuff in there. And then of course it has like the little chain here with the MK, and then the little gold plate as well. My other Michael Kors bag also has the same gold plate, so they kind of match. And oh my gosh, I just love it. And then here's what the back looks like like and then the bottom has like the four little gold compartments there so ah, 
I just like I had to have it and I wasn't even planning on getting another bag I just Ugh, I saw it and it was calling my name so I had to get it. So originally this bag goes for $349 and of course everything in the store was 40% off so I got it for $209 which is what my other bag cost me as well because that was also 40% off so I did save a great amount of money. I know a lot of people are going to be a little upset that I bought a Michael Kors bag because it is leather and a lot of people you know the, the animal cruelty and things like that. I am not vegan or cruelty free in any way so I'm sorry if this upsets you as I was walking around just looking at like the watches and things like that because my sister is turning 21 years old in March and for her birthday I really want to get her a Michael Kors purse a wallet and a watch and sunglasses if she wants to um, I really just kind of want to spoil her big time for her birthday so I was just kind of looking at the watches and looking around and and then I come across the side where they had all of the sunglasses and I was like, oh, well, shit, I'm going to end up getting sunglasses. I just know it. So, of course, I ended up with a pair of Michael Kors sunglasses and it also came with this really cool case as well. And the sunglasses that I got are these ones right here. They look really, really nice. They just look like that. I'll just go ahead and show you what they look like on. And these, this pair I had to go with. I was going to go with like just my regular like black pair. But I figured I would, if I'm going to spend so much money on sunglasses, I might as well get something I don't actually have yet. So I decided to go with these guys right here. So they just have Michael Kors on the side here. And these were originally $99. And then since they were 40% off, I got them for $59.40. So I left with a new pair of sunglasses, a new purse, and a new freaking wallet. So all together I got those three items and my grand total at checkout was $373.32. So I spent a crap ton of money. I wasn't even spending on, I wasn't even planning on spending that much, but when I walk into that store, like it's just, it's gonna happen. That's just how it is. And then I also, like I said, I went to my local mall and I decided to do some shopping there. I only got a couple of things from there. I mainly just wanted to go into Spencer's. I didn't really see anything else that I really wanted. So I really wanted to get like a new pair of pajamas because when I sleep at night, I tend to sweat really, really bad. Like it's like I sweat like crazy. I know TMI and probably really gross, but I really just wanted like a new pair of pajamas that were light enough to the point where I wasn't going to sweat my butt off to the point where I would, didn't have to sleep naked. So I was in there and I saw a pair that I absolutely fell in love with and sorry, they're like all covered in hair, but they basically look like this. They are basically Batman freaking pajamas. Like, what? That's amazing. So here's what the top looks like. It's all kind of wrinkled up because I washed it recently. But it just is black and it has the bat symbol there. And it just says Batman. And then it kind of has like a cross uh, back in the back like this. Really, really cute. It's really comfortable. It really feels good on my chest. And it's not too big and heavy to the point where I'm going to sweat like a beast in it. So that's what the top looks like. And then it also came with the matching pants as well. They're not like full pants. They're like the kind, like capris almost, but on me, they're like full pants because I'm so short. But they just look like that. They have like the black and yellow with the Batman and yeah. So I got them in the size small and they fit really, really good and I'm obsessed with them. I wear them almost every single night. They're super comfy and I just love those pajamas. These, this pajama set was $30. Because when I sleep at night, I tend to sweat really, really bad. Like, it's like I sweat like crazy. I know TMI and probably really gross, but I couldn't help it. I just can't help it. I just sweat like a beast. So I really just wanted like a new pair of pajamas that were light enough to the point where I wasn't going to sweat my butt off to the point where I would, didn't have to sleep naked. So I was in there and I saw a pair that I absolutely fell in love with. And sorry, they're like all covered in hair. But they basically look like this. They are basically Batman freaking pajamas. Like, what? That's amazing. So here's what the top looks like. It's all kind of wrinkled up because I washed it recently. But it just is black and it has the bat symbol there. And it just says Batman. And then it kind of has like a cross uh, back in the back like this. Really, really cute. It's really comfortable. It's really feels good on my chest. And it's not too big and heavy to the point where I'm going to sweat like a beast in it. So that's what the top looks like. And then it also came with the matching pants as well. They're not like full pants. They're like the kind, like capris almost, but 
on me they're like full pants because I'm so short but they just look like that they have like the black and yellow with the Batman and yeah so I got them in the size small and they fit really really good and I'm obsessed with them I wear them almost every single night they're super comfy and I just love those pajamas these this pajama set was $30 and I usually wouldn't spend $30 on a pair of pajamas but when I saw these I was instantly hooked and I had to have them so that was the first thing that I got at Spencer's and then my old wallet that I used that I was using for like two years it was like I said in the beginning it's Audrey Hepburn tattooing Marilyn Monroe in like a tattoo shop and they're all like tattooed up well that was my wallet and I was walking around Spencer's and I saw a freaking poster of that wallet a poster so of course I had to have it and I will try to zoom you out and show you to the best of my ability it's really really big but uh, oh crap here is what the poster looks like. Hopefully you can see that okay. Sorry, there's like a glare. But yeah, that's what the poster looks like. As you can see, she's smoking a cigarette, tattooing Marilyn Monroe, and they're like drinking, having some shots, just having a grand old time. So this is what my wallet looked like, and they had a poster of it, so I had to get it, and I got a frame for it, so I just need to hang it. Sorry, this angle is completely and totally awkward. But yeah, that is the next thing that I got at Spencer's. Okay, so that is everything that I have for this little haul video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up, and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos but until then I will see you guys very soon in my next one I love you guys Bye.